All right, now you're starting to explore curves um, in your design. So a curve, you're in Inkscape or any program that's dealing with spline type of vector lines with end nodes, um, they have to be handled a little differently. So I'm just going to give you some designing tips when using this tool right here in any of the programs like Illustrator or Inkscape. Okay, so here in Inkscape, I can give you this. If I click, then click and drag, then click down here and drag, then click here and drag, you can see that I can start making a pretty good curve. Now, I'm going to hit Enter on the keyboard. If I go back to the black arrow, I can now move these based upon their nodes, or I can move it here. Now this is a feature only in Inkscape. Usually you have to move it on the node in Illustrator. In Inkscape, you can move it on the actual line itself. This is a very very huge improvement on design sometimes. So you can get like straight lines to arcs. Now let's say for instance you wanted this node to go from a curve to a straight line. Well click on it and then go to the make corner. Okay. So now that is more of a hard edge line going from here to here. And you can see that because I can adjust this node separate now. Now check out this one, see how this one interacts with just kind of like a teeter-totter approach where this one now interacts like this. Okay, if you want to go back to the teeter-totter, you choose this one. Now it's a teeter-totter again. Now there's other ones out here. There's um, symmetric, which basically takes this line and centers it within the node itself. And this one does a blending that is just quite huge. Basically, I only use these two. Um, I very rarely do this one. Sometimes I use this one for the auto smooth feature. So let's take this for example. If I click on this one and then this one and I hit auto smooth, you see how it auto smooths between those two points. That comes in handy when designing a very nice curve. I can choose from this one to this one and hit auto smooth. It won't calculate very well from that one to that one, but if I choose all three of them, it will. If I want to continue on the line, um, i go back to that tool, and I click, 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 just like that. Let's take, for example, this. If I have another line starting here, and I'm hitting enter there, and I'd like this line and this line to become one. Well, I can go like this one, hold shift, click on this one. They're both blue, and I can hit this, join connected nodes. I can also break this anywhere. If I can go here, I can go break. And now this is a separate altogether. Again, this is a pretty nice feature in Inkscape. Um, it, we do have something equivalent to that in Illustrator, but it's not quite as um, flowing as this when it comes down to just
trying to think up of a design that flows from node to node. Uh, you don't want to be thinking about how to do it. You just want to do it. So I'm going to join those back together. So I kind of like that, but I, I want to go and auto smooth that and come up with something crazy. Maybe I want to adjust it on the curve itself. Okay, let's say this node is in my way. I can now minus that node. Maybe I need a node between these two. I can hold shift and add a node between them. See how fast I can do that? Um, I'm not thinking here, I'm just doing it. This is, in, this is interacting like um, a corner where I want to interact it as a smooth. So what I would suggest before you even get into this, this unit um, is play around with a line, for example, and make some cool little design uh, based upon this Bizaire curve tool. If you have to trace out something like a picture, do it. Uh, whatever, it ha whatever you have to have in order to get buy-in to use the tool, do it. But this is one of my favorite tools when it comes down to using vector illustration. And not many students um, would agree with that until they start using it and maybe even exploring it in Inkscape a little bit before they jump into Illustrator. All right. So that's the tips I have for that. Um, please move on to the rest of the unit.